Plus One. Discover's going further with Miles Reward than ever before. Discover at Miles Card matches automatically all the miles you earn at the end of your first year. Limitations apply. Go to discover.com slash travel. Well, it, by the way, I was just, Charles Barkley just came on the show, and, and Rob Parker said uh, when he was in between jobs one time, one of the first people to call him was? Charles Barkley, and left a great voicemail message to me. He really, he's just a great guy, so I just heard that. That was great. Yeah. So, uh, I said earlier, when you choose a sport, you're actually choosing a culture that you're comfortable with. Golf. People who golf like the culture of golf. Tradition. Respectful. Many are over 50. Um, it's not just golf, but you, you initially felt comfortable with the culture of it. The NBA culture, and I feel comfortable with it, is young, brash, soap opera, hip. loud, music. Well, I'm not hip, but the hipness. I like it in my life. I think it's fun. I take my wife. She loves going to NBA games. So the Drake situation, I know a lot of people are just appalled by it. And I'm like, I, I've seen this with Spike and Jack and Diane Cannon. And I got Mark Cuban screaming at officials and Steve Ballmer's coming out of his suit. But this bothers you, doesn't it? I just don't understand. Like, okay, I get it. He's a big Raptors fan. He's from Canada. Yeah. I, it all makes sense. And there's nothing wrong. But now you're going around squeezing the coach's shoulders. What's next, Collins? You're going to be in the locker room popping towels <laughs> after the game? I mean, seriously, it's a little bit over. And I think the NBA should say something to him. You, you cross the line. The game is going on. You don't need to do all that. Kind of stay in your seat or stay, uh, you know, around where your seat is. And that's fine. We love the enthusiasm. We, we're not telling you that you shouldn't be... Uh, thrilled with what's going on. We love you as an NBA fan, but that crossed the line. By the way, I do feel like the Raptors loved it because it got in Milwaukee's head. Toronto's a veteran team. Milwaukee's a young team. I think Milwaukee got rattled. I think Drake rattled Just from him. a little shoulder rub? Is that all it no, took? No, I, I just think they got rattled in that game. I don't think Toronto's that talented after Kawhi. But I think they're full of smart veteran guys. And, and yes, I will agree with that. And that they have, even though they had playoff failure, that those teams won a lot of games. No. Go look at the last couple of years before Kawhi got there. Ibaka, Danny Green, yes. Kawhi, Kyle. These are 33-year-old men. Milwaukee's got a lot of 25-year-old kids. And I, I do think, I want to see tonight, I do think Drake, and I'm not a big believer in give fans credit for wins, but I think he got into Milwaukee's head. Okay. Warriors make it to five finals. Now, come on now. Isn't it time for you, a little bit of a detractor, to acknowledge the greatness of this run? Is it the greatness of the run or the weakness and water down of the NBA? And I'll give you the reason why okay. it's not that impressive. The last time it was done was 1966 with the Celtics. Colin, pop quiz. How many teams were there in the NBA? Eight. Ten. Okay? So my point is, once you had a good team back then, you stayed together. There was no free agency. Right. So if you want to go back in sports history, go look. The Yankees made the World Series in the 50s eight out of ten years. They had the best team. Right. The Montreal Canadiens won every year in hockey. The Green Bay Packers, they had the best team, so they really dominated. For a team to dominate and go to five straight NBA Finals in a league with 30 teams... It's because the competition balance has been thrown off. This is what I've told you all the time yeah. about LeBron James ruining the NBA. And I've said it before, Colin. Ruining yes, it. he ruined the league from this standpoint. <laughs> I don't know. Ruins very strong. You ready? So he started MySpace when he went down to Miami with the big three. Right. And they won up them, and they made Facebook when they got Kevin Durant. That's where the balance, that's why LeBron made it to eight straight NBA finals. This is a bad league with no balance. And this year has been better. The Eastern Conference was much better. I'll give yeah. you that with LeBron out of it. Yeah. But here we are. Before the season started, everybody knew the Warriors were going to the NBA Finals. Didn't you know? It, but I would argue this. Don't we kind of know? I mean, Alabama, Clemson, mark it down. They're in the national championship. Uh, Brooks Kepka is going to start winning all the majors. UConn women's basketball, New England Patriots. I'm seeing all I'm all I'm seeing now in sports is dynasty. Serena, 
12 years of domination, Federer, Djokovic, that's the world we live in. Everybody's done. We have like one or two empirical powers they dominate. See, I, I don't see it like that. In, in Major League Baseball, you can talk about the Red Sox winning their World Series. Kansas City won in 2015. The Cubs hadn't won in 100 years. I'm just saying, this spread out of different, of different teams where you don't know for sure. You might have an idea, but you know every year the Warriors are going to be there. I just think that's a bad league. I know everybody can say, oh, the NBA, and you saw the TV ratings for the Eastern Conference are they're down. down. Yeah, but some of that. part of it is because of, of Canada being involved yeah. where they don't count the ratings. Okay, can it, you at least acknowledge this? I said this about Steph Curry. For a dynasty to last a long time, Duncan, Brady, Steph. Duncan was not a dynasty. They never won back-to-back -back championships. Well, they won five. But, but in 15 years, Colin, that's not a dynasty. You ready? The Parker uh, definition of dynasty is you need to win three in a row or four out of or, or, or uh, two, two in a row, three out of four. Or three in a row. Something like that where you have at least okay. two and then you say you lose one year and then you win again. Okay. Can Dallas Cowboys won three out of four. That was a dynasty. Okay, can you at least acknowledge with Steph, because you've been critical of him, that I'm watching this Gotham Chopra documentary. Dad, teammate, father, his personality. He, he's the Elka-Seltzer of players. He just brings all the disturbance down. This part of his greatness is... His DNA, his personality, he's so dependable. Draymond and KD fought when he was hurt and not in the locker room. Come on, give Steph some love. I give Steph love on that, all of that. I just think that he's perched a little bit higher than he really is. And this NBA Finals will determine how you look at Steph Curry. Okay. Okay, if he loses without KD, that would mean that he didn't. He he, he lost, right, without KD. He also is the author of the 3-1 choke job to the Cavaliers in that year when they won 73, had not lost two games all year, and lost three straight, including two at home, to choke that down. And the one championship he did lead them was when uh, Kyrie and Kevin Love were hurt when they beat the Cavaliers. So this is a huge one if you're talking about, we got the numbers. We got all the three-pointers. Sometimes I look out there, I'm not sure if I'm watching the uh, Harlem Globetrotters play the Washington <laughs> Generals with the crazy threes. So I get that. He's a great player. He's a great shooter. But I think the perch is way too high. He needs to win this championship. So you really don't way. believe his legacy is framed today? No, not at all. If uh, he loses, what? I, I, and even the championship they won, he didn't even win the finals MVP. Where Colin, all, look, how many finals MVPs does he have? That's where it. are all the other incredible, high-caliber superstar NBA players hiding? Are they not in the league or something? Like, they're in the NBA Finals. They've won. They've beat James Harden. They've beat Chris you Paul. Beat James beat every, Harden? That the, team is the terrible. The East Portland wasn't terrible. even ready. Portland, Portland. Compared to who? If, if Steph Curry retires, let's just say today, he twists his ankle at practice, and he says, it's broken. I retire. You don't have Steph Curry as one of the 10 most important players in league history. I'm not... Kareem, LeBron, Michael, Magic. Some people try to put him and say he's the best small guard. He's the best ever. shooter oh. in the history of the world. But here we go. I will give you Isaiah Thomas. I'm talking about Zeke from I Detroit. Like, I like Not Isaiah. I like Isaiah, all right? Isaiah beat Magic. He beat Jordan and Bird during his prime. And if not for a bad call against the Lakers, that team would have won three straight championships instead of two. And, and think about this. He didn't have another top 50 player on his roster. <laughs> Steph Curry has four of them. No, no, no. Come on now. You, don't make me badmouth Isaiah don't Thomas. Don't badmouth Isaiah no. better than uh, uh, Steph Curry. I love Isaiah Thomas. You, you'll never get me. Isaiah Thomas is, in my life, the best ball handler in league history. The toughest little guy in league history. No doubt about and, it. No, no. You, you'll, by Isaiah Thomas is big-time talent, right? All I'm saying is you have reduced Steph Curry to a <laughs> crazy, <laughs> flippy, floppy, Harlem Globetrotter half-court shot. After, Are some you? Of the, after some of those shots, I'm waiting for him to throw a bucket, bucket of confetti. <laughs> he still I just has don't know to what's going on. It, and he's still playing against... The Western he, in the Western Conference Finals, he's playing against did, the best talent that there is. Did he name a player that could score zero and a half 
in 33 I, in the I second get it. half. That was tremendous. But, but, Joy, to answer your question, when you look at that Houston team, none of those guys are winners from the standpoint of winning big. Mike D'Antoni, you remember the teams he had in Phoenix? They could never win. Well, that's a whole different conversation. Uh, no, but I'm talking but about still all those guys. Them. Chris Paul. What? Chris Paul can't win. James Harden can't win. They can't win. You've Portland been, wasn't ready for the, for the you, Western you, Conference you, you Finals. You got Steph Curry. You, you're basically... He's a specialist. He's to you. a great player. You He's know, brain surgeons are specialists too. You're going to need a specialist someday when you're 70 in a hospital. <laughs> Bob someday, Parker, now? his vitals aren't working. Let's bring in a specialist. You'll like specialists then. <laughs> uh, Rob Parker, Arash Markazi talking Lakers and more, and Clippers Durant. Final hours coming up. Rob Parker, thank you. It's the Hurt.